Hi there, my name is Ali Cassetti, and I'm here with Carlos Gonzalez from EnviroBio Cleaner. Carlos, go ahead and say hello to everybody. Hey, everybody, how you doing today? Awesome. So, Carlos, tell us a little bit about your business, what you do, what's going on in the world with the corona. Wonderful. Well, uh, as, as Ali mentioned, my name is Carlos Gonzalez. I'm the owner of Enviro BioCleaner Inc. and we're headquartered here in Fairfield, California. And the primary uh, service uh, that we do at uh, Enviro, Bio, Enviro BioCleaner, EBC for short, is we manufacture uh, soap, multi-purpose cleaners, degreasers, uh, window cleaning uh, products, uh, restoration products, and also uh, hand sanitizers. And uh, we currently have operations in 13 countries and have over probably around 350, 350 plus distributors worldwide that carry our products. And um, prior to us, uh, you know, going live here with Ali or, you know, recording, uh, her and I were talking about the uh, current situation that uh, all of us here in uh, Solano County has found ourselves in regarding the uh, coronavirus and um, certainly the demand for hand sanitizers and also uh, face masks have uh, really taken center stage uh, in our efforts as a community to uh, number one, to sanitize uh, you know, our homes, our hands, uh, and obviously with the mask uh, to try to eliminate the spread of this virus. And, you know, one of the frustrating things that uh, a lot of people have is the situation is so fluid right now. Uh, one day we could be hearing something from, you know, reliable sources, and then the following day, um, the, the script changes. Uh, you know, one day we could be told that we're supposed to be wearing masks, and then the next day we're not supposed to be wearing, and then, you know, it just kind of gets a little confusing for all of us. And my role actually uh, here in Fairfield has been really working behind the scenes the last three weeks uh, in regards to our hand sanitizer uh, product that we manufacture. And uh, we have been working nonstop um, providing hand sanitizer predominantly for uh, some of the hotspots on the East Coast, such as uh, New York, uh, some of the hospitals, the first responders and whatnot. And I did make an announcement uh, here in Fairfield or in, in Solano County regarding what we do because we were so back ordered on a hand sanitizer. And I didn't want to offer this to the community uh, as a resource to them and then have them contact our office and we would have to tell them that it's not available yet. But we finally turned a corner uh, as of uh, last week. Uh, we, we certainly got. Uh, up to the point where we we're able to ship some hand sanitizer here into Fairfield. Um, last week, we uh, did a, a few quick donations to some of the uh, uh, first responders, uh, Fairfield Fire Department, uh, the Fairfield Police Department, and I've also been working with Councilwoman Moy uh, with the City of Fairfield, uh, just touching base with her and asking her expertise in regards to where the need is. And in those discussions uh, with the different city officials, we explore some ideas or some opportunities to be able to provide the hand sanitizers uh, to the general public and more importantly, face masks. Uh, we actually uh, picked up a source, uh, if you want to call it that, uh, about two weeks ago to provide us with the KN95 mask. And I actually made an announcement last week on one of the Solano, I think it was the Cordelia group that I'm uh, a part of. And uh, we have about 1,500 of those masks actually arriving. They're supposed to be overnighted to us uh, on Friday. I think we're supposed to get them on Friday, but definitely Monday. And in my discussions with uh, the Fairfield Fire Department, Battalion Chief Herrick, uh, one of our uh, first priorities was to offer those masks to our first responders here in Fairfield. 
and uh, one of the things that the uh, the Fairfield Fire Department told me today when we were on a call was that they were actually in pretty good shape with the mask uh, through donations, through uh, some of the FEMA um, activity at the national level. It's finally shown itself here in Fairfield for them to actually uh, have enough for them. So what the chief is doing is he is reaching out to all the different fire districts in Solano County on our behalf to see who in the fire departments there actually could use the donation of the masks that we're bringing in. And we're, we're actually donating 500 masks right off the top. And we are going to make the remaining thousand of those masks available to anybody that wishes to purchase them. Um, obviously, in the interim, there's a lot of ways of, you know, making sure that your, your face is covered. You can do the homemade mask, uh, you can improvise and, and whatnot. Uh, but this is a something that we're going to offer to the general community in Solano County as a resource for them. Uh, if you have another source for masks, by all means, get it, use it, and, you know, follow through with that. But if you find yourself that you just can't find it anywhere, you know, feel free to uh, reach out to us and uh, we'll certainly try to arrange something for you to either come by and pick it up at our warehouse or we'll figure out the logistics on that. Hey, Chris. Uh, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. What would be the best way to contact you about those masks? Email. Okay. Sales, sales at envirobiocleaner.com. And I'll say that one more time. It's sales at enviro, E-N-V-I-R-O, D-I-O, cleaner.com. And, and one more comment about the mask. Uh, we've also, um, we have approximately 86,000 of those masks in the pipeline uh, and will be available to us uh, as needed. We're not going to, you know, just have all these masks being brought into Solano County if it's not needed here. Uh, we have uh, representatives all over the United States that are also assessing first responders' needs as well. So we'll uh, certainly the 1,500 that we have coming in here uh, on Friday, that's not the last of them. Uh, we will be sourcing some more. And I uh, had a uh, discussion with my uh, supply chain today, and they have earmarked about 86,000 to me. So um, again, because as of today, we've been mandated that in Solano County, we need to wear a mask. So I was just saying that this morning, where can we even get a mask at this point? Everyone right, exactly, exactly. And then if we could shift gears here just real quick, uh, we can go on to the, uh, the hand sanitizer as well. Uh, we have a pallet of hand sanitizer that is on its way uh, to Fairfield at our warehouse. Uh, it should arrive on Monday. That's 144 gallons, one gallon jugs of hand sanitizer. Uh, it's FDA approved and everything like that. That's the same hand sanitizer that we uh, donated to the, uh, the police department and the fire department. Out of that pallet though, there's only about uh, 60 gallons left. Uh, once word got out in the, in the, uh, the community, North Bay uh, Health uh, gave us a call once they found out that uh, we had some uh, hand sanitizer on the way. Uh, we had a, a, a very good call with them earlier today and they are struggling as well. They're actually going to fire departments and asking whether or not they can use some of the hand sanitizer that they have. So from our medical people here in Solano County, uh, they, uh, they're improvising as well. So our priority, uh, our first priority, is to make sure that our first responders, that our healthcare officials have access to that. So we've already allocated part of that pallet, but uh, 60 gallons is available uh, after Monday. Uh, if anybody is looking for hand sanitizer, it's a liquid, not the gel. Uh, again, you could reach us at uh, the email address that I uh, indicated to, uh, to you earlier and, um, you know, let us know what you need. We do prefer that each household just buy one gallon so we can spread it around. Uh, the other thing too, we will be getting more down the road, uh, hand sanitizer, blending it, uh, tracking down the raw materials to make a blend that is in line with the FDA standards is very, very difficult to find these days. 
uh, a lot of the refineries, a lot of the production plants in the Midwest that make the alcohol, the ethanol, uh, it's a worldwide shortage right now uh, uh, across the board as it relates to hand sanitizers. So if there's anything left on my production line, uh, some of the orders that we have currently have in and continue to have in, I've instructed my blending plant to send those to Solano County so that we can uh, offer those to the general public. So, so that's kind of the update. I mean, I, it's, you know, we, we, we see a lot of things going on and, you know, in private discussions that I have with, you know, colleagues in the industry that the pressure washing industry and the cleaning industry, uh, where I've been a part of that for 20 plus years, uh, you know, once we get on the, the back side of this, whatever month that will be, uh, things are going to change. Uh, it's going to be different for a lot of us, for everybody. And um, I think cleanliness is going to be the order of, of law right here uh, in California. I don't know if uh, anybody caught the governor's address earlier today, but uh, I think he projected June, July as possible dates when the shelter in place is going to be lifted so this at the state level they they are taking it very seriously and in my discussions with all the city officials today and certainly with my direct communication with ongoing communication with uh councilwoman moy uh they are extremely concerned and certainly uh serious about ensuring that uh, we err to the side of caution uh, before we start venturing out to, you know, uh, riding our bikes and going to Scandia or going to Six Flags and, and whatnot. So uh, I know it's tough for a lot of people, for everybody. Uh, we're stuck in our home and business is literally halted for the most part. Um, the only suggestion I can say is just hang in there, hang in there. And uh, I think California is doing a great job. Uh, the first two weeks of the home confinement seems to have done some good for uh for the state as far as the numbers are concerned but we're not out of not out of the woods yet so i'm just talking away here ali i'm sorry i'm gonna let you chime in and see if you have any questions for me no honestly carlos i really appreciate all the information and i super appreciate you being here today this is really really great for our community to know um, and have an update on where to go who to talk to what to do and to know that our first responders are safe and thanks to you like we really really appreciate everything that you've done probably more now than ever in your whole career <laughs> well yeah no it's it's been you know it's, it's certainly been um an interesting last couple of weeks for our business uh we've actually been very fortunate that uh, we are considered to be a necessity, you know, employers uh, in regards to what we're doing. And I feel, you know, I really, really feel bad for those that uh, are not working. Uh, but, uh, you know, we're certainly get through this. One other point about uh, the mask and also the hand sanitizers is that, you know, if, if there is a need, uh, if you're a nonprofit, I don't know if you work in homeless shelters, uh, certainly not just Fairfield, but throughout Solano County, uh, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, we're not looking at this. I mean, our pricing for the mask uh, is, I think, for a pack of 20, it's $3.70 per mask. Uh, that is a price that I brought up to the, the city of Fairfield uh, earlier today, or the fire department. And, he, you know, he said that our, our price is actually a lot cheaper than what they bought their mask for. We're not in this to make a quick buck. Uh, we're certainly not price gouging at all. Uh, we're just trying to cover some administrative costs and, uh, you know, uh, the cost that it takes for the product to get here. Same thing with the hand sanitizer. It's uh, 20, uh, 29 bucks a gallon, which lasts a very, very long time. It's, uh, you know, just put in a little spray bottle and, you know, wash your hands with it and just rub them together and let it dry. So. Uh, we'll certainly work with anybody and everybody that, you know, certainly is in uh, you know, in a position where they can't pay for it. Uh, we'll certainly entertain, trying to work something out for you so that we can, you know, get that in your hands and uh, know that you're safe. Carlos, you're just an angel. Thank you so much. Is there anything that we as a community can do for you? Um, I wish... I could get a haircut if someone can come to my house and give me a haircut <laughs> all right you guys you heard him I can't I'm wearing this hat <laughs> no the, the, the only thing is is that as you know as 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 things progress in the state 
And I, I keep a very good pulse on the cleaning side of the industry, not only in California, but also in the, in the United States and worldwide because of the nature of my business. Uh, there is going to be a, I, I'm, I'm almost confident that there's going to be a certain standard that, uh, you know, your janitorial companies are going to have to meet, your pressure washing companies that you, uh, that you hire to not just clean your house, but to sanitize your house, uh, to disinfect uh, the front door, to, you know, wash your cars. And I'm, I'm actually going to plug a, a local business here in Solano County that uh, I've had the pleasure of working with. I'm no longer in the pressure washing industry, but uh, I do know of one company right now in Solano County that does provide this service. And uh, it's a family owned business, a Star Care Pressure Washing uh, out of Vacaville. And I've uh, communicated with them several times over the last couple of weeks, just checking in with them. And making sure that they're okay, and they are they are actually ramping up uh, to ensure that they're not just cleaning your house, that they're you know they're they're disinfecting it, they're sanitizing it, and that'll be a great resource for those that once cut loose and were told that now you got to clean, you got to clean your home, you got to clean your driveway, you got to clean your back patio. Uh, that company is actually uh, is standing by and, and readily uh, willing to uh, take care of that for you. So that's my plug for the day for Star Care. So, okay. Love it. Love it. Awesome. Wonderful. Thank you again. We really appreciate you having you today. Thank, thank I'm going to post all of your contact information below this video so that anybody who needs to get a hold of you can. Um, and if you need anything from us, please let us know. But have a great what, day. I appreciate it. One last question. Yes. As I get updates in regards to availability of sanitizers or face yes, masks, no. is it okay to post that on the oh. business group that we're part of? Yes, please. That's what it's for. We okay. want all of your updates. <laughs> okay, great. Thank you so much. And thanks for having me, Ali. Best of luck to you. Thanks. You too. Have a great all day. Right. I'll talk to you later.